Three, two, one. Hi, my name is Deborah Fournette, and I'm a holistic healthcare practitioner and a complementary medical hypnotherapist. Um, but today we're going to uh, delve into some interesting experiences that Murray and I have had uh, with using uh, Windows 10. And we looked for some solutions to an increase in our uh, internet usage in vain. Um, so we had quite a bit of a spike in our internet usage this January. We were away in December. We came home in December, in January, early January. And our usage on the internet was of course zero in December. So <clears throat> We noticed a big spike because we received an internet email. Uh, we've signed up for email when um, the usage for our 150 gigabytes internet uh, becomes close to the end. Because if we don't, we end up paying 150, no, it's uh, over 150, we pay a dollar fifty per uh, usage after that. So it can really add up. Anyway, we don't usually come anywhere near um, the amount that we use, and it's a big, big amount that we have currently. So, uh, when we got the email, we were kind of panicked, so we phoned Videotron, which is our internet provider, and they told us that we had uploaded and downloaded. Well, of course, we hadn't changed anything we usually do, and we thought, well, this must be uh, somebody pirating our internet. And well, we do have a pretty secure password, and since Videotron wasn't any help, we decided to change our password on our internet and see what happened. Uh, but the usage continued, and all this did was net us problems with trying to change our uh, our printer over and wireless and so on. I mean, really, it just messed us up. It didn't make any difference. So Murray had a brilliant idea. He went through a deduction of what was happening and we realized that the uh, internet usage spiked when we um, when I received a computer another computer uh, a new one and on this new computer was Windows 10 so we noticed um, this big internet spike and I'll just show it to you now uh, it happened on March the last one I can show you is on March 2nd. And as you can see, this is the usage for one day in March 2nd. And the usage spiked. I mean, normally we were up at about uh, 1.5 gigabytes or maybe 1.08 gigabytes. And on March 3rd, we, we apparently spiked at four, 40 gigabytes in one day hope you can see that well. And that was quite a bit of a shock. And I'll just show you the detailed report here. So as you can see, March 2nd, can you see that, Murray? Mm -hmm. uh, the usage was uh, combined 41.7. Uploading was 38.86 in one day. And then for the rest of the month, it was almost negligible for the billing period uh, shown here, March 2nd to April 1st. So we figured we better get this problem resolved. Um, I'll show you February, February to March 1st. And there we are again. Pretty uh, negligible usage until we get to February 22nd, 23rd, which it really spikes up there at 41.69 gigabytes. And then on the 27th, we uploaded 21.38 gigabytes. So we've pretty much gotten this under control now, and that was because of Murray's uh, deducing what changed when we got the new um, computer. And basically what happened was um, I started to unwittingly 
upload information to the cloud, uh, the Microsoft cloud. And I think what happened was uh, <laughs> uh, that I was automatically signing in with Microsoft. And without my knowledge or understanding, Microsoft uh, Cloud was uploading all my photos and my documents. Uh, and I never expected that to happen. I never gave it the, uh, the direction to do that. And so the cloud was full, and they wanted me to pay extra to upload everything onto the cloud, which I wasn't even aware I was using. So through a series of deductions, we figured that out. And then uh, Murray spent some time on my computer, and he found out how to resolve this problem. So stay tuned for part two when Murray shows you how to stop OneDrive uh, on Microsoft 10 from uploading your photos and documents and other items and trying to charge you extra for it and in the process increasing your internet usage by dramatic amounts. Look for part two. Thank you.